Hey everybody, welcome back to Windy City Astrophotography. My name is Nick, and in this video I want to take you along in the imaging run of a beautiful emission nebula in the constellation of Cassiopeia, the Heart Nebula. Let's check it out. It's a beautiful, clear night here in Chicago, at least for the first half of the night or so. It looks like maybe after about four hours, we're going to get a cloud bank coming in. And after that, it's going to be at least several nights, maybe a week or more until we see another clear night. So I really want to take advantage of this. I was able to complete my setup tonight before the sky got completely dark. And uh, currently, I'm just wrapping up a round of flats that I'm taking with the Ross. I like to get these done before the imaging run especially if I have a little bit of twilight left before I can really start taking some good images. You can see here I've got an LED panel. Uh, the flats are done, so we don't have to worry about uh, messing up this imaging here. But I have a, an LED flat panel here. This is able to shine different color temperatures and different intensities of light. And I have here a t-shirt stretched over an embroidery hoop, and that shines down into the Ross itself. Now, you're able to see down in there, we've actually got uh, the 1600 mm Pro. That's all set up. Tonight I'm shooting using the H-Alpha filter. I'm gonna be looking at the Heart Nebula, and I'm actually completing a mosaic that I started last week, an SHO, a Hubble palette view of the Heart Nebula. And tonight I'm gonna be finishing up with a little bit more HA. Uh, I do already have a, a little bit, which I'll be showing you later on in the video. More integration time, that's always helpful. And especially tonight when uh, it's looking like it's only going to be clear for part of the night, I figured this was a great way to uh, spend the evening. This is one of my favorite times in the sky. Uh, this time kind of in the late summer into the early fall, you start getting those reminders of the late fall into the winter sky. And of course, if you're up late enough at this time of the year, you begin to see Orion making a great appearance as well. I was up a, a few nights ago, staying up uh, maybe a little bit later than I should have. And I was able to get some great hydrogen alpha data on the Horsehead Nebula. And that's been something I, I, I just can't wait to image fully with narrow band filters and maybe mixing a little bit of the RGB as well on that target. Everything's going smoothly so far. I want to head inside and uh, check out how these first few images have gone for the setup tonight. Uh, so let's head on inside and uh, see what's going on. Uh, I just got inside and I was sitting down and just happened to check the image coming in on the ASI Air. I just got to show this to you. I don't even have to take my jacket off yet. So I've got ASI Air uh, loaded up here on blue stacks. One second here and just check this out. That's a single frame here. Let me expand this view. Just fantastic. The fish head looking excellent here. Every once in a while you get that first image and you just remember like, Oh my gosh, I'm seeing these incredible objects, but I'm also seeing it from Chicago. I, I get outside there, I can see a few dozen stars, maybe on a really good night. But here I am looking at this incredible view after just one exposure. Uh, once we get a few of these stacked together, it's gonna look really nice. So super excited. We'll see how the rest of the run goes. All right, so the imaging run is well underway now. We've almost completed the first 90 minutes, which will be the first pane, and then it's gonna move on to the second pane. So the Heart Nebula is a pretty well-known astrophotography target. You can see pictures of it all over online. As you can see here, the field of view a little bit, a little bit tight on it. There's not a whole lot of room for error there. And I'm also missing in this view, if I can um, bring up the brightness here on this survey, this beautiful tail back behind it. I'm not sure exactly what better way to describe it as, but a tail of material stretching away in this direction. So what I ended up doing is doing a mosaic. So I was able to make a one by two panel mosaic. Now you can see here it is uh, transiting right around the middle of the night, but tonight right around maybe 11, 11.30, we're looking at some weather coming in. So I want to take a look at that. So we have here, uh, this is a website from the College of DuPage, and it shows here some of the air mass that's happening. So today was nice and clear here in Chicago. And uh, throughout the day, a few stray clouds coming through. And you can see back behind here, covering up Iowa, this uh, patch of clouds coming in. And once that makes its way across the state, it's game over here in Chicago. And you can see here, this is uh, Saturday the 23rd. 
yeah, reasonably clear. This is a clear outside website. Uh, the wind, nice and low. This is a, a nice night to be doing this. This is pretty much agreeing. Uh, sometimes the different forecasts of clear skies, they can kind of vary um, depending on what you're looking at. This is agreeing pretty well with a clear sky chart from cleardarksky.com. Let's do a quick check in with the ASIR. Check this out. This is our live stack. We've currently got 18 images stacked. So this is 36 minutes of integration time so far. And this is, <laughs> this is looking great. Uh, pretty clean. Now, I've already got uh, quite a bit of data collected in HA for both panels, as I mentioned. So I'm looking just to improve the uh, the noiseless nature of that data. So fairly noiseless here and another real stacking. Gosh, look at that, that detail here on Mallet 15. Um, I always think that looks kind of like a seahorse in the uh, the center of the heart nebula here and, and beautiful dark patches here. Let's check out the fish head. Fantastic. Yeah, it's looking great. A lot of the, uh, the dark lane across there. Just looking fantastic. So looking good. Fear not, I am actually guiding. <laughs> um, one of the issues running BlueStacks on the desktop of the PC here and then also running on my phone, the ASI Air app. Sometimes there's only a portion of the data shows on one or the other device. So I try not to uh, flip back and forth too much between the two, uh, but currently the guiding is only showing on my phone, but I have been double checking to make sure it's uh, actually still happening. Now, whenever this observing run ends tonight, I'll have uh, hopefully uh, fairly final data for this, um, this current rendition of what I'm gonna do with the Heart Nebula. Let me show you what I've got so far. So I was able for uh, one night last week to collect the S2 and the O3 data. S2 here is on the left, and O3 is here on the right. And uh, pretty good. I'm actually not too worried about keeping these noiseless. I am at, at some point gonna be integrating a lot more time into these over the course of the fall. Uh, but a little bit of the noise I'm not too worried about because the more noiseless I can get with the more integration time with the HA, gosh, look at that. That's only 45 minutes per panel on this. 45 minutes integration, it's looking like that already. I can't wait to see what uh, hopefully quadrupling that is going to look like. So that's pretty much what I've got for you tonight. We'll see how the, uh, the rest of this imaging run goes. And uh, hopefully the data is nice and strong and I'm able to get a good image here at the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a like. And also don't forget to subscribe to Windy City Astrophotography. Plenty of great videos that are going to be coming out and uh, hopefully some great imaging as well over the course of the fall and into the winter. So clear skies. We'll see you next time.